Hey guys, Bill P here from BP3 Crypto on BP3 TV. My hair is a little bit of a mess. You know, you know why? Because the market's a mess. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Remember, this is educational advice and not investing advice of any kind. But seriously, folks, if you can take me seriously with this um, scruffed up hair and uh, a little battle wound here from uh, work last week. Not quite sure what got it, but something did. But the reason I'm talking to you is because, um, you know, things look pretty crappy, right? Um, market valuation is way down. Our total market capitalization, capitalization is below 300. And I don't really have any um, silver lining here. All I can tell you guys is, um, you know, I still believe and I'm still here and I'm not going anywhere. I was uh, fortunate enough to be able to take a little bit out and put off to the side. So I kind of feel that as my... Um, a smart decision. Um, I wish I had taken out more when it was really high, but who, who doesn't, you know, but no big deal. Um, if we look back at the past, you know, I'm not going to go all over this and try to brainwash you or anything, but it's here's the bottom line. If you still feel comfortable in this space, then by all means stay. Where do I see it going? I see it going like, I, I, don't, I can't even say to the moon, to Mars. I really see this technology being ingrained in all parts of our lives, our society, all parts of our business and our social order. So it's not going to go anywhere. There's price manipulation, there's price suppression, there's um, major sell-offs for uh, court order reasons. Um, everybody's looking for excuses and stuff like that to say, you know, <clears throat> why the market's doing what it's doing. Um, but, um, you know, there are no excuses. Our market is uh, down. People are um, getting tired. And some people are saying, like on social media, that, you know, this is it, that they've had enough. They can't take all this. If they don't, they're making the financial decision. That's the best for them. Um, but I myself, I am not going anywhere. Uh, I, I still been picking up some stuff and I'm really looking at a couple of things I'm really watching like one really close I'm really watching two or three other coins that I have that are quite a bit down so I can cost average them in at the bottom I mean check this out you buy a hundred coins for a hundred dollars they lose their value 50 percent so now you have a hundred coins I mean so now you have a hundred coins worth fifty dollars and that's a going price go buy another hundred coins at fifty dollars now you spend two hundred dollars, but now you have two hundred coins. Yeah, I know that. Ah, confusing myself. Cost average, guys. You get in high, it falls down low. You get in again. Your break even, if the amount of tokens is the same, will be in between those two points. Get in for ten, it goes down to a dollar. Get in again. So at ten we bought a hundred. It's a hundred dollars. At a dollar we bought a hundred. Oh, a thousand dollars and a hundred dollars. So eleven hundred dollars divided by two, five hundred and fifty. So fifty-five cents would become the new break-even, as opposed to waiting for it to come back up to a dollar. Follow me. That was a little bit um, messy, but um, I guess what I'm really just trying to say is that uh, the market will have its um, rebound. The cryptocurrency and the DLT technology is not going anywhere. Many, many companies uh, that are doing great things are coming out with their MVPs. And there's a lot more projects on the way that are just phenomenal. I looked at one today that's a social media trading platform and you can end up uh, trading through the social media. Um, for example, message, uh, Facebook message Bitcoin to somebody with a, hey, have a nice day, a cup of coffee on me. Pretty big if it does get accepted. I mean, you are on one hand, we have social media saying they're oh, backing off on cryptocurrency investments. But on the other hand, we have these companies that are coming out that are going to intertwine with social media. See what happens. Um, but what I am saying is that as far as valuation, things are low. This isn't a true 
representation of the companies that are involved behind this. This is price suppression, large players making their last moves and so on and so forth. And a lot of people that just can't take it no more who are um, who are bailing out. I mean, here in the United States, there's tax time coming up, but a lot of people are still up if they got in last year and they're looking at some bills coming up and they're reevaluating their participation in this market. So they're taking their money out of the market. And that, that sucks, you know. I don't like the hodl word, hold hodl word. Um, invest, okay, make your investments, make your decisions. I can have things for short periods of time, have things for long periods of time. It all depends on what you're doing, what it is, and what's happening with that point in that industry. Um, but selling out and leaving the market um, hurts the market. I'm not saying do it to stay in it just for me, but just think of the big picture. Um, as you do it and other people do it, more people do it, then the more people do it, you know, we'll be fine. I'm going to buy up everything that I can while it's low. And I'll see you at the finish line. All right. Bill P from BP3 Crypto on BP3 TV. Ciao.